what's up everybody welcome back to the channel today I've got a little treat for you guys I'm gonna show you the paddling shoe kayaking shoe that I use probably 99% of the time you're gonna see me in these shoes what you might see me in every now and then are the high axe these are the high axe these are what I use for like getting into slicey boat and play boating because of the fact that they have such a flexible sole on them and padded on the ankle this is um these are my slicey boating kayaking type shoes but these right here what what i have right here is the astral footwear razzler 2.0 as you can see right there i'm going to show you guys i just got these in today they are actually really hard to get a hold of they are on back order right now this color is the rasta black color you know and the reason i like the rasta black it's just less likely to get muddy to get dirty they do get very dirty i had a pair of gray ones and they basically were brown all the time so <laughs> good luck on the 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 gray and any of the blue or red color but yeah i'm just going to do a little quick walk through for you guys i won't make this video as long-winded as most of my videos and these retail around about 130 dollars and i think what these shoes are geared toward the best i think w the best made for creek boaters all around kayakers that paddle half slice boats creek boats kayak fishermen wreck boaters highly recommend these shoes if if falling and slipping and falling in whitewater environment or in a wet environment in general is not something I would recommend it's painful it could break an arm you got to start factoring in what's that worth to you not having a shoe that protects the ankle will not come off the foot and has amazing grip on them highly recommend these shoes the only drawback they don't have a good art support in them I never was a big fan they they're not the best for hiking they don't they're not very durable they do come apart on you but you know what what shoe doesn't when it's like in you when you get it wet you get it dry you get it wet you dry it out they're eventually going to come apart nice little tabs here for hanging up and drying i let them hang and dry out when i put them there i never just cram them down in my gear while they're wet they're comfortable i always wear a sock with my shoe so you'll always see me with like a neoprene i wear like a neoprene they um i use uh, an nrs type neoprene sock that i put on these that i always it's like a half it comes up like halfway on my calf g rubber the best rubber out there on the market by far and if you can look they have these little grips in them right there i don't know if you can see it but that's the that's what gives them the secret to their rubber that is awesome the way these things stick to wet rocks and it has kind of this tread pattern so it breaks through like mossiness and slime and stuff you'll see on rocks from time to time too they're made of this canvas material it has a padded ankle unlike the low yaks i don't like the yo low yaks yo -yaks, because of the fact that my ankle bone is uh, is um exposed right there and let me tell you if you step down in between two rocks and bang that ankle bone you will know exactly why i prefer a high top over a low top any day of the week and the fact that these things stay on the foot very well the problem with the with the with the low axe they just don't stay on the foot that well never had a problem out of them right here where i've had issues is is the this stitching will come undone and the toe box right here starts to break they do delam there astro has done a lot to try to like make them more durable and i think they've got a little better over the years it seems like every water shoe i've owned eventually just falls apart because the glue can't handle the wet dry wet dry back and forth so if you're paddling a lot i maybe get six months to a year out of these this is what i would call a water boot i have tried the 510s i've tried um canyoneer i think there's another company that i've tried in the past but no matter what i keep coming back to the astrals they have good drainage in the back and the front so they do drain nicely when they get water in them you don't want a shoe that has no drainage i've actually seen i've actually talked to kayak fishermen that have fell out of their kayak and they could not get back in the boat because they had waterproof boots on whether it's some wolverines or morels or something they fell out and they could not get back in their boat because their feet were full of water and the shoe did not drain where you look at a shoe like this this is made for draining these are made for the water but yeah, right here, these two these two shoes are my kind of go-to pretty much year-round. You'll see me in these two right here. 
Great shoes, great company, highly recommend them. Everybody, you leave in the comments below what your experience is with the Razzlers, what you think about them, or if you have another brand that you would suggest that you'd like for me to check out, I'm, I'm interested. I've seen some other brands pop up from time to time, but right now, these are my go-tos. These have been extremely well. for. These have worked out really good for me. So yeah, everybody, leave in the comments below what kind of shoes you use. I do have a couple other pairs. I do have, these are the TR1s. I'm not gonna go into every pair of shoe that I have, but I have a Loyak, I have TR1s, I have the Hi-Ax, I have the Razzlers. Let's just say it, yeah, I'm, a, I'm an Astral fanboy. Yeah, so um, I'll just own that. Right now, I'm gonna get these on the water. I just got them in, so I can't wait to go paddling with these things, but yeah. Thanks a lot, everybody. Thanks for watching, and I will uh, catch you guys next time. See ya.